Start by selecting your quick connector. Typical connectors come color coded based on the gauge of wire that it's designed to fit. Red is for 18 to 22 gauge wires, blue is for 14 to 16 gauge wires, and yellow is for 10 to 12 gauge wires. Using mixed wire gauges is not recommended. Examine your wire splice. There is room for two wires, and in most of these splices there will be a slot with an opening on both ends, and the other will have just one opening. Slide the existing wire into the splice in the section with openings on both ends. The add-on circuit wire should be inserted into the remaining opening until it reaches the stop point on the other end. With a pair of pliers or a similar tool, squeeze the metal blade into the wires until the blade is flush with the plastic shell of the splice. Test your connection to ensure the splice has worked properly. Once you've confirmed that the splice was successful, flip the cover into place. You may now add any additional protection you want, such as a wrap of electrical tape. These quick splices have their place, but they are not good for automotive use due to their aggressive attachment method and poor insulation qualities. Recently, I installed a resistor in parallel to an LED bulb so the turn signal wouldn't hyperflash, and I used these connectors. These were trouble right away, and while I was able to fix that, I only used them to avoid soldering in the winter. When summer comes around, I will be replacing them with soldered connections. The wires in cars move around a lot more than you think, and these quick splices aren't great in that environment. Not to mention they aren't very well insulated. Use these at your own risk, and I don't recommend them for automotive wiring. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video.